So I'm thinking, you want to know how I created this loop in Adobe Premiere. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Chris McNish, content creator for Sweet Gap Incorporated, where we provide solutions using content creation to tell your story. Before I go any further, remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you wanna be notified when I post more content. Today, we're gonna to create a circle and we're gonna add a stroke to the circle with a shadow underneath. Let's open up Adobe Premiere. All right, we're gonna open up Premiere. And the first thing that you, that you need, you need two uh, videos. So for the tutorials that I do, I have a screen recording of me actually doing the work. And then I have my talking head on top. So as you can see, my talking head is on top and right under it is the screen of me actually doing the work under there. So I just pulled two clips and we have them right here on the timeline. And so what I did is that I muted the audio so that we can just focus on the circle. Okay, so the top circle is the actual talking head. So that's the video that we want to affect. So the first thing that we want to do, we want to go to our effects panel. We want to type in circle. And as you can see, the circle effect is right here. I'm going to drag that and put that right there on the circle and it gave us that little circle there. So let's go to the effects control panel and under blending mode, let's go to stencil alpha. And then once we, once we open this up a little bit, you will see me right there under the radius. So we open up the, we open up the radius and then where it says center, we have an X and Y axis. So on the X, it moves from left to right. On the Y, it moves up and down. All right, we'll make that a little bit bigger, just like that. And for the sake of the video of the circle, what we're gonna do is we are going to, we're going to make so we can just focus on that right there. So let's bring this there. And then right here where it says motion, we can bring that down, we we'll bring that over and bring it down. And so I have an idea of what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just gonna put it in the center, okay? So that's the first thing that we did. We created the circle and we we're able to put me in the circle. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to add a stroke. And what a stroke is, it's a it's like an outline and it makes the the effect look a lot better. So what we need to do is go to the effects panel and type in paint bucket. As you can see, there's the effect right there. We're gonna bring that on. It's gonna turn all that red. That looks terrible. Under the effects control panel, we have where it says file selector. We'll click on the drop down there and we will click on alpha channel. Okay, it gives us that right there. Still doesn't look like a stroke, but what we're going to do is we'll click on the drop down for stroke and then we will click on stroke because that's what we want and you see it gives you that little outline right there i'm going to make this a little bigger so you can see it so you see the stroke outline right there and so you can decide if you want to make the stroke thicker or if you want it thinner i'm sure you wouldn't want it thinner than this but if you want to make it thicker then you make it thicker that way. And if you wanted to change the color right here on the color, you click on that box there, you can change it to white. I believe on my tutorial, it is white. And so let's stick with white, but let's make the stroke a little bit thinner. Just like that. So let's bring on the, uh, the screen recording. So you have an idea. And the reason that I'm bringing it on because of the next thing that we're going to do. So we created the circle, we created the stroke, and now we need to create a shadow to separate 
the circle from the screen recording. Okay, so let's go here and you'll type in drop shadow and there's the effect there. We'll bring the drop shadow, we'll drop it on the same talking head timeline. And then under your effects control, you have drop shadow there. And so the distance, so you can see the drop shadow, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna click on here so you can see a little bit better. See the drop shadow right there. And it just makes it look a lot more professional. Okay. And it separates the talking head from the screen recording. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go back to the effects control and right here under motion, um, under position, there's the X and the Y. So I can put that whole thing right there. And all I need to do now is just position it. So I definitely want this to be smaller. So I'm go under scale and make that scale a little bit smaller and then position it right here. And then I can make the scale bigger cause I have it right there in the center. And then just make some adjustments so that I can put it right there. I'll bring it back to the left just a hair. Matter of fact, let's make it smaller so it can all fit on there under your scale. Let's bring it over to the left. All right, just like that. And now this red line indicates that we need to render it because if I try to play it, well, I'm using a, um, I'm using my MacBook Pro and it has the M1, so it's gonna play it um, while it's rendering. But normally on my old computer, that it wouldn't be, be able to do that. So normally I would have to go to sequence, render in and out my in and out points. And this MacBook Pro, this MacBook Pro M1 Max, amazing. Uh, maybe the next one that I do, it will be on my uh, Mac Studio with the M Ultra. Uh, that came in about two weeks ago. Well, by the time you see this video, it'll probably be a couple of months because I have a few videos that I have to do before this, but it will look some, but back to this, it will look something just like that. So just imagine me talking about whatever I'm talking about, but normally if I'm doing the tutorial, I would link up the tutorial with what I'm, what I'm doing on the screen. And so I would be able to talk that through. And there you have it. This is another cool effect to add to your videos. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos, subscribe to my page. Click on that notification bell and don't forget to leave a comment.